If this job isn't done right, yeah. then everything else has been a waste of time. So in some ways, this is kind of the most important job. The oxygen is obviously bad for the beer because it will oxidize the beer and yeah. potentially cause it to have a limited shelf life and go off quicker than otherwise would do. So when we're running the beer into the, from the fermenter into the conditioning tank, oxygen is our enemy, if you like. So yeah. what we do is we flood the tank with CO2 first. And that CO2 is, is obviously heavier than air. So because it's heavier than air, than oxygen, it will drop down and it will push any of the oxygen further up the tank, if you like. Yeah. So once we've done that, we can then start to run the beer through into the tank. Now the beer is heavier than the CO2. Yeah. So the beer comes in from the bottom, pushes the CO2 up, and that pushes the air up. And basically you are essentially creating a top layer of, of pressure, if you like, a top layer of CO2, which will provide protection for the beer. The issue with casks, in a way, is when you've got them in the pub, I assume once you've opened them, you've exposed it to the air. Exactly, so yeah. Is that, how do you counter that problem, or is it just a case of selling the beer the, 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 as the way, as you can? Exactly. The way with cask ale, because it's not forced carbonated, there's no CO2 going in. It's just ideally sell it within three days, and yeah. that's the kind of lifespan you've got from when you tap the cask. In a keg, which is different, you'd have uh, the beer would be under carbon dioxide pressure. Yep. That is also carbonating the beer, that's adding the bubbles, or is that just to prevent the air from getting it? In? It would do, I mean, yeah. And, and it, it obviously means that, that it's not exposed to any air at all, yeah. so the product has a longer shelf life. Yeah.